That's all I can say. So let me go to the next question because uh, on what do you think of of the go uh, current government? On a scale of one to ten, where one is the lowest and ten is the highest, rate their performance in all sectors. So let's not talk much yet. One to ten, rate their performance. And the, and one is the lowest. Yeah. Why? Definitely the low, the lowest is my answer. Okay. Also, well, so what do you think I about have... the current government? If you are asked to narrate them, or to just give you a brief analysis on what your perspective about your view. The, the current government is <laughs> is nothing to write to write home about because I don't there is nothing I can really say what I, there is nothing I can say that this government has positively if we are we are to talk about negative things but positively I can't write anything that this current government has really done with this country rather they are, they have brought so many suffering struggles to this country. As in to Nigerians, this current government. But um, unfortunately, it is the same Nigerians that puts them there. So let me just say it like unfortunately. But um, what I would say is, we say we're ignorant or we're naive then. If I can put it that way, but not everybody. Not everybody put it in, like what people used to say. That I ah, know we knew that this the first period that was done in 2015, we voted for change anyway, and they gave us the change. We saw the change in a negative way. But 2019, people were saying when I asked when, when people were complaining, then I said, But oh, you voted these people, 2000, you saw what happened in 2015, four years down the line, you saw what happened. Then you still went ahead to vote this government and uh, this current government. They said, no, we didn't vote. We didn't vote for them. They put themselves in. But what I, what I used to tell people is, okay, they put themselves in. How? It is a number. When, they, when you wrote a number, when you want to write 10, it's because there is zero. You wrote something. That is where that is when you can change it. You can add one, one zero or add two zero or two zeros or three zero, zeros to make it 1,000. But if there is nothing at all, if there is nothing, there is nothing you're going to do. If people didn't vote for that party at all, there is no how they are going to, they are, there is no how they will rig the election. So, this current government, I don't see anything in this current government. But the, uh, um, nothing, the government have, didn't do anything, haven't done anything for me, personally. So, that's so. Anyway, um, I think the mistake I made was not to write from zero to ten. In my own view, I think zero kukuliku. I remember one of my former teacher in government college in the early nineties. She is this Olodo, newly graduated. Uh, she will come to the class. She doesn't know how to teach. She was teaching integrated science then when we were in GSS two. Maybe 94, 95, if I'm not mistaken. And she will say, whatever, whenever she has a question and we didn't get it, she will say, zero kukuri. That's what she normally writes on the board. I remember there was a time, there was this blunder that she made. But I don't want to go into that. But on me, on scale of 1 to 10, I will choose zero. The government uh, did not just fail woefully. You feel completely in everything, you know. I I I, I pray, or when, I hope. Let me not pray. Uh, not a pray, a prayer time. I hope we are not going to make the same mistake this twenty twenty three, when people will look at what the past government have done, take advantage of it to come and give us flimsy hope, campaign that will not come to pass. Uh, these days now, every government, every aspirant are coming out to say this and that. Let's just hope that even if it will be that people so much clamor for that they are uh, putting at the top 
you know, above any other candidate that we have now, if he managed to win, let's hope things will be different. It's only business as usual. And I just pray, but I realize one thing that every president, since I have, I have been conscious as a human being, the next president are always worse, the next administration are often always worse than the predecessors. It has always been like that since the 80s. So I can't, I can't really say I'll give them any credit for anything. Is the if there is something worse than worst, not mm. worse than worst than worst, mm. uh, uh, the is the kind of description I will give to the current administration. So on the scale, the zero. So. That one is gone. Let's move to another question. In your view, why do you think Nigerians who are supporters, in your view, what do you think of Nigerians who are supporters of Nigerian politicians? Your view, what do you think of them? Of Nigerians who are supporters of politicians. Uh, who are supporters of Nigerian politicians. Uh, I would say I, I, the word I want to use. Um, I want okay. I would say I want. I don't want to use foolish, but I'm trying to look for a word for you. For you, in this say as in in this same word I can use because. Um, the way people, the way we Nigerians support politicians in this country. You Nigerians, so I'm not, I'm not included. We are all Nigerians. I'm not we included in Nigerians. the people who support politicians. Yes, if you don't support politicians. Okay, okay. The way we Nigerians support. The, the reason Nigerians why I said we Nigerians. Support. Because uh, at one point, at one point in time, we all supported one person or as in one politician or the other. No, I never supported any politician, no. The one that I've ever supported in my life, only one, Shogure. He's a politician now, so you have supported one he's politician. An, he's an activist. An activist, but he's now a politician. Uh, he, was, he, was he has activist. not fully gained that political uh, politician mantra. So, because he has not been into any office in the country. Uh, I, I believe when I mean politician, I mean the ones who have been. Why, why are really, we supporting no, them? Stealing, ruling, why are we really supporting them? It is the hope. Maybe let me just say the hope, what they sell to us, what they give to us, that they're going to do. And I think that is the reason why you uh support you why you are supporting Shomore as well. I'm not supporting Shomore because of the hope. It's because I have met him before. I worked in the news magazine for almost seven years. The news magazine and PM newspaper. I've met with him before. I've read Sarah reports on several occasions. He's the only newspaper, uh, media publisher there who doesn't take money from politicians, especially when they are doing special reports on hard part, in order to enable him to publish whatever rots or woes that they have incurred. I've seen him give speech. So where is a rich guy? Sarah reporter as last 2019 was worth 11 million dollars. Convert it to Naira. So, you know, and it's, it's not like he's hungry. He's the one financing himself. And he need not to come into the political arena if he chose not to. This is one guy that was offered American citizenship, but he chose to be in Nigeria. So it's different from every other person. So I'm not advocating for him. I'm only pitching out what can be confirmed. What, but no, no politician, nobody, no other person like that. So if you are true, my so, own view. Okay, but I just say I just want to add. Let me just add one thing. Um, I would say the reason why most Nigerians are supporting politicians is let me just say to be as because they are ignorant. They are ignorant and they will keep fooling ourselves. 
this politician will come this, you know. uh, this year, they will promise us heaven and earth. Promise us even words, I don't know. What God hasn't even created, they're going to problem them. They ask yourself, all people of you who are supporting it out. Oh, well, now. They asked him if he was going to probe all our past. Maybe it was due to politics, he's playing politics. He's, he's a he politician. said that was in the past. We yes. have to move forward. Because he's not going to dwell see, on that. See, you have to anyone. I'm I know that is it. why anyone that have stolen from us. There is even in Christianity, though I'm not a religious person. There is something they call restitution. By the time people are not accounted for whatever rots, do you know how many people have been killed in this country just because some people chose to keep stealing without having break? Do you know that? Even money their fourth or fifth or tenth generation never needed had been stolen away from this country. And we are to sit down and speak grammar. Different people will come out and speak up. I mean, they are asking a presidential aspirant. Now, on behalf of Nigerians, these people who have mixed us dry, what will you do when you get it? He said, I will, I will not prosecute them. The past is in the past. I'm looking forward. Forward where? <laughs> when the foundation of your house I, I, is disrupted, I don't think is shaky, is stupid, and you want to look forward, Looking forward, how? Looking forward, where we leave, where we leave them and see it. Why they said more than this when it was coming in two thousand. The money is going to use will be the money we call, we get from those people. So, as in, you said, where will it get money? Is that it, what you see, you now? only take a creating edit. The simply things, not to know that, no matter what Nigeria is worth today, some people have stolen more than times hundred of it, among few people times 100 of what we are worth today or even more is in, in their pocket. So if you are running a business, if Nigerian is like your business and you have left it in the hand of hoodlums who are stolen it dry, let's say the business is worth like 1 trillion, but by the time you came back, it was left with 10 billion. Now, around 19 billion have been, uh, have been absconded with. They've absconded with it. They've taken it without purpose. You are going to sit down here and begin to tell mm -hmm. me a story of how the the rats stole stole the fish and, and the cat mm -hmm. is now wearing boom. Please let's not go. Let me my own verdict about the, what I think about Nigerians who are supporting politicians. Stupid, simply things, idiots. That's who you are. You are here supporting, supporting politician. any politician. Mm -hmm. Who have helped embezzle your money, who have helped destroy the fabric structure of your country, something is wrong with you. I did my house, come and beat me if you want. But the truth is the truth. But because when you see people running after them all around, you are telling me that someone, see, even so already that I support them, I only know how he built Sarah Reporter from nothing and it turned into something. And I knew that out of all the presidential elections since 2019, he's the only one who is good in debate and who look like someone who means, but he still doesn't mean I'm blindly supporting him. The moment he enters and he fucked up, I'll be one of the people to first come out to castigate him. But I really without if we be even if he's going to fuck up, he will never be. He will never be as worse as how this current administration is by all the previous ones before them i can i can almost vouch I'm for glad that you, you, i can almost vouch. You but when you about, see um, people i would rather prefer people to be judged based on what they have done okay not what they are saying so everybody who is coming today have one or at one point or the other being in the office of the government before so now that they are here to campaign again the question is what did they do why they were given such privilege in the past what project did they do what how have they turned the life of people around and as far as i'm concerned 
zero kukuriku, like my integrated science teacher in 1994-95. So they've done nothing. So let's give fresh people the privilege to come there. People who have ideas. And these are not ideas they are keeping. Like, okay, when I get there, you will see what I will be. Yeah. Trenchantly explaining it on every platform, national TVs and stuff like that. So no one, but it is what it is. It is Nigeria where it is the best of all. But it is nothing. So this is the nice question. We have the 10 questions. I'm asking this question. I'm going to do the 10 questions that I set. I'm sorry if this video is too long.
your husband. I'm going to give credit. Credit to let me just say to two to look to two people. Say make you know they go you, church. No, not about going to church. You Don't be me tell her me about religion that is false. You religion is beautiful for whoever is beautiful. <laughs> you talk about you talk about religion, not about going to church. Religion. Now let me talk about my own perspective about religion. One of the quotes that I love the most was the Lefarot in this quote, and I will read it. I think I sent it to her. So about religion, I uh, forgotten. I must have. I should have checked the date and year that the Pharaoh team posted this. Uh, I think it was. Um, let me see this. The mm -hmm. Pharaoh team posted something on religion, which I want to read. One of my best quotes about religion, and I want people to listen attentively. It said, "All religions are human constructs." Which indicate that my human being, my own construct, religion. Because even if you study the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, there is nowhere where they say God was the one who imposed religion on the people or who invented it. It was human's constructs. Inspired by clear need to constrain the human imagination and its infinite capacities for evil. So, according to him, here he's saying that human's constructs religion but it was also inspired by the clear need to constrain the human imagination and infinite and its infinite capacities for evil which it more readily succumbs to than the equal capacity for good in the hand of the simple it becomes a weapon which is religion religion in the hand of the simple it becomes a weapon and the greatest source of human depravity. See, everybody must first understand something. Religions, all religions are men's constructs. Every culture, every custom that we have in this world today, they are doing they are doing party year, they are doing burial, they are doing a naming ceremony, whatever. The only natural thing that human beings were not taught how to do, the moment we all came out from our mother's VJ. We started looking for what to suck. Is where to locate the mammary gland and suck. Eat. And naturally we will we, we, we urinate anywhere. We poo anywhere we want to poo when we're young. So until the society begins to, people who have lived before us begins to conform us to 
how we should do things. But in terms of religion, it was constructed. Well, this is Dele Farotini's opinion about why it was constructed. He believes that it is religion was inspired, was constructed, was invented because it was inspired by clear need to constrain human imagination and its infinite capacities for evil. Yes, I didn't I don't I can't I didn't disagree with that. But in most cases, if you study the in if you go in depth into the history of religion, firstly you must first understand that you have to be truthful to life. You have to be a truthful person for you to understand religion. If you are not, if you are just this gullible followers whose mind has been ensnared by the evil According to the second book of Timothy, chapter 2, uh, I think verse 4 to 6 or so, that your mind has been ensnared, you will not understand what religion is all about. Religion to me is false. People have been living on the surface of this earth. In fact, even before the invaders, like they often called them, brought this foreign religion to us, uh, we, were, we were doing fine. People have their market in the who have their goods in the market. They only put stone just to describe the price. And people go there. They pay, they take goods, they don't steal. But now we have all the religion that says don't and do. Don't worry, we'll go to religion someday. I have a lot. If there's something I want to talk about the most in this world is religion. Because it is the problem of all we have today. All religion. In British. Anglican or whatever the one that crowned the queen or the king in some other European country is the Pope in the traditional African setting is either the abore, the chief priest, the chief this one, the chief that. So it's all religion. But some, even African religion, I wouldn't call it much of a religion, I would call it African spirituality. And is even truthful to nature than this so-called Islam and Christianity. I'll come here and castigate me, it's not my problem, but the truth is just the truth. I'm going to delve into religion truly. I was born a Christian. I grew up in Christianity. In fact, at the age of maybe 11 to 12, I've already finished on the abstract of the Bible. I read the Bible since I was compelled to. And I've been asking questions since I was young. And if you want to disrupt every religion, just ask one simple question. Because religion has taught us not to ask questions, just believe and have faith. And substance of things not seen, and whatever. Evidence, of, evidence of things not seen, no problem. We don't ask questions. We've prayed. We've done all sorts of things. Me, I'm a rebellious person right from home. So. About religion. I only go to church. I could remember when I was young. I was and there's no church denomination I've not gone to. I've gone to CNS before. I've gone to Cribo and Seraphon before. I've gone to Methodist, Anglican, uh, Catholic. Uh, CAC of different denominations, the Apostle League. Mm. Like, the last one I was in, I was an inconsistent redeemed member for almost 18 years. And uh, by the time we go into religion, we start to pick each topic one after the other. What well, those GOs have done and stuff like that. <laughs> religion and business. Mm. I remember in the early 2000s, people used to call every redeemed church as business center. They are not lying. It's all for business. We went to one redeem in our area here yeah, because we were not much in the in the in the I, I, we don't have much congregation. They closed up the church, so it's all business. You must be delivering. It's not about winning souls. It's all yes, about how much about, you, yes, how much you the, the, the the there's a there's, there's a lot of things in religion. Even all this uh, insinuation of I will make sure I did five five minutes interval whatever. Church mm -hmm. all around. In our street here, we have almost four redeem. They're always making noise. People who go there, humanity is far from them. Mm -hmm. you know Prostitutes the attend there. Mm -hmm. They will say hey, the sinners are the ones. And they have been attending there for years and still continuing their prostitution. There was a time you talked about, you, See, you told me that someone, someone were, when you were discussing with someone who is a pastor, uh, the person said, Oh, do you, you see this? Uh, this church business. Uh, that's is, that is the landlord's son. My landlord's son is a pastor. He was talking about church and he's saying that this church, this church is business. Church is a business. It's a business. People don't believe. But let them keep going. I've not been going to church for the past more than four years now, almost four years now. 
And I don't think I've ever opened my mouth to pray once to be prayer. I've not asked Jeff Bezos how many prayers is made. There are two qualities a human being in their life, good health, and a source of uh, revenue to probably take care of all your financial uh, responsibilities. If you have that, then you just have to be human to others, help others. Even if you read the book of Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 46, when it was clearly stated there, I'm a Bible scholar. So when it comes to religion, I'm, I'm very... When we have to talk about... Let's not even go there. That would be a Don't worry. That is going to be a full topic. So let's go to the last question because we are running out of time. Uh, the last question is, two years ago, the Nigerian government gave an order to all financial institutions to block any accounts or accounts of their citizens that are into cryptocurrency trading. Do you think such policy or move or should I call it decree? Makes sense. Does it, it doesn't make sense, make sense to you? It doesn't make sense. Um, it's like um, our government are deprived. It's, it's, it's like they are depriving us of let me just say enlightenment of enlightenment uh, enlightenment because this cryptocurrency that. Uh, the Nigerians are in this, this, uh, this uh, cryptocurrency has really, really helped us. It has really, really helped Nigeria. It has opened so many opportunities to people. And it's like governments are trying to deprive of the uh, deprive us of um, of uh, opportunities. That is, as in, that is what I see in this. It doesn't make sense. What they did doesn't make sense. Instead of the government to look for a way to manage this and even to, like, let me just say, to give the um, banking system an opportunity, like, to introduce their own currency, their own um, coin to us, they are trying, they, they, they try to deprive us and to deprive us of opportunities. I don't think what, what the government did makes sense. And really makes sense. I don't think it really makes sense because this cryptocurrency is a great opportunity for the youth, not only the youth, for for everyone who wish to know about it. It's a really, it's really a great opportunity and a really source of um, wealth creation because it has really helped so many, so many people, so many youth, so many people are really doing great, doing well. Need this cryptocurrency. Okay. Uh, this cryptocurrency issue too is supposed to be a full video. But let me quickly chip in my own opinion. Like you said, what they did didn't make sense. It actually, didn't make sense. Uh, I think it came from the father because we've heard so many stories around why they wanted to ban cryptocurrencies, just that it's quite unfortunate for them. They could not buy crypto, ban cryptocurrency like they did to Twitter. Even in Twitter, they had the claim that they banned. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were still tweeting, changing their VPN to US, UK, or whatever. So it's all charities. So let me put it straightforward. Cryptocurrency will have been an opportunity for Nigerians to go, to be at the global stage. In fact, even up till now, despite the fact that they are stiffen our neck when it comes to uh, people who trade cryptocurrency. Nigerians are still the second largest nation, numbers of people that trade mm -hmm. cryptocurrency after the United States of America. So, I believe that it's a wrong move, but it still shows the, pro, the potential of the governments you guys elected to mm -hmm. run the affairs of your states. Uh, North Korea is one of the countries that people hate so much because their so-called president is always blabbing, always threatening that he has uh, some arsenal to destroy either the American or whoever is against him. But the guy is never a daft guy. After all, he's cool in the U.S. I'm uh, sorry, in the U.K. But when you have presidents who cannot even write their names as your president, this is what you get. In Korea... Cryptocurrency is order of the day. In fact, the government, according to what we research, set up a room for people, for professionals, to be trading 
And even sometimes I even heard that they even look for a way to hack other people's coin just to bring in money for the country. Cryptocurrency is like a systemic, beautiful way to take money from other country and bring it here. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's always about the fastest finger. The coins is in 10 era. A lot of people are buying that same coins all over the world. If Nigerians, who I believe are smart enough, are, were on the mon they are monitoring the coins, the moment the coins goes to 1,000, if, let's say, 70% of people who are trading cryptocurrency in Nigeria traded the coins for 17 era from 10 era, which they are, must have bought, it earned more money. It brings more forex to the country because the countries whose people are not smart enough to quickly take the opportunity they gain from what that coins have produced will be the one losing money. And most of the guys who we claim that are into fraudulent art, Yahoo, Yahoo, most of them are even beginning at the point in time from what I research, are beginning to drop that bad art. Yes. They were going into cryptocurrencies. Which could have even be as a medium to help curb the menace yes. that we are always uh, trying to 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 preach against on uh, the daily basis. But they came and they said that it's not. And the banks, as far as I'm concerned, they are as daft as their so-called, uh, you know. I don't even know because, as far as I'm concerned, banks, in my own view, could have quickly switched into action. And even start their coins, like she rightly said. We've always discussed this thing at all. I just believe it's a bad move. It's a very stupid move. And it's a cruel move. It's just like you're not giving us anything. We are not sharing from the national money. The money that is supposed to be, every Nigerians are supposed to be benefiting from, are money that you use in producing, you use in giving them infrastructures, build them good roads, build them good schools, let there be good health care for them to visit whenever they are sick. We lack all these social social amenities, social infrastructures. There is no platform that is aiding or abating growth in this country. So the world at large, American, American to be precise, provided a very good medium for us to start earning good forex. And the only thing our so-called Simply thin, black headed, myopic, completely myopic, visionless Vision. administrators mm -hmm. could come up with is uh, the, the, the lady uh, during the answers. People are using cryptocurrency to sponsor people in protest. Mm -hmm. And that is supposed to be the yardstick to yank off banking. Great opportunity. You know, but well, unfortunately, they could not do it. I, I, I and no matter how much they try, mm. they are still not being able to do I, it. I think the, the and when they are came, when they came out with their flimsy excuses, mm. uh, people are losing money. Is it your money? Uh, people mm. are. What has even people lose money? People who who sell markets who who buy, who uh, do business with you normal uh, conventional mm -hmm. banking system or whatever they call them. Mm -hmm. They lose money. You yes. see stories of how five million naira was deducted from someone's account without them knowing. And they have never they are never retrieved back. So you that fail to even seriously if, if there is a word failure in dictionary our our administrator best dis, dis, describe best illustrate the word failure. Uh, because sometimes you just think that is this cruelty or just visionless? I, I think but, that is the right word. I don't know. Visionless. Because uh, this one is, is it has passed visionless. They are mostly, and the people who are surround, who surround all these people, governors, president, or whatever, sometimes when you imagine the way they think, people who are close to them know them. They know that they have nothing upstairs. It's, it's too obvious. It's too obvious. But it's, well, I do, do I blame them? It's only in this country you just see someone become billionaire all of a sudden. What they do for a living. You don't know? So, guys, 
Uh, this is how far we can go tonight. Um, some other time we might be coming with interesting topic. Um, please help us share this video, subscribe. It's a new channel. The former channel I was using before, I think I stopped it. I just built this channel. So, uh, the name of the channel is Future ABC Media TV. Like I said earlier, it's like a new TV channel where I'm going to be bringing different people. And most of the time, too, I'm going to be speaking to issues that bothers us. Uh, sometimes we speak about finances, we speak about religion, we talk about religion. Uh, it's going to be an interactive section all the time. That I can promise you. Uh, but help us share, like, and click the, remember to click the notification bell and click all so that any video I post on this channel will be, will be the first to see it. Uh, we are trying to build this channel not for money's sake but to also have Nigerians whose view can be here, whose view can be heard, whose view can be heard online and to speak to different issues. I'm not saying my perspective is the best. Neither am I saying that I'm writing everything I'm saying. That's why I call it my opinion. And like I said, I want her own perspective too, despite the fact that she's my partner. And uh, uh, I just want us to always have interact interacting sections here. Interesting, you know, and to probably enlighten other people on things that they might be doing that are affecting all of us. Because if an idiot votes for the wrong person, it's going to affect all of us. So until we see next time, I want to say thank you. This video is long, I understood, but I think it's worth it because it speaks to so many issues we have in the country. So until next time that we meet, uh, that, we, that we see again, uh, please enjoy yourself and make sure you have gotten your PVC. So you can vote rightly. And if you have got it, it's better not to get the bill if you're going to go vote for people who put us in more dreaded mm -hmm. situation. So when you, if you're voting your PVC, make sure you vote for the right person. Please, if you're not considering yourself, considering others. And consider the young generation that are coming up. We've sang so many songs when we were young. Uh, we are the future. My wife was saying uh, one funny song. We are the leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. There is there is no leaders. Though. I mean, my fault is and uh, there is no leader anywhere. Now uh, you can't even run as a counselor. You have to be odd, very dubious mm -hmm. and odious in nature for you to be able to uh, sit with people. I've seen intellectuals in this country who have told me what they witness, both male and female when they join political parties. And uh, there are things I don't want to discuss online. It's just not worth discussing. So I can confidently tell you that, uh, to be honest, we are doomed for now. We're just looking for someone to rescue us from our damnation so that we will not continually sink because already we are in limbo. But if we continue to further sink in our, our situation. Let me borrow the English of uh, Frank, uh, Frank, Lidon, uh, Frank Dungan. Mm. It will not all go away. Mm. Mm. So, <laughs> so uh, until we see next time, please thank you and uh, keep watching at Tim's. And if you have any comment, if you have any suggestion for what topic we should be discussing and uh, your opinion is all, uh, also highly, you know, will be uh, will be appreciated in our comment section. And the only way you can support, I'm not one of these people who say, give us money, give us. Though we are still building the stuff, we still need a lot of, uh, what's it called? Gadgets. Gadgets. To okay. make it more beautiful than this. Even space to be used. But for now, we are using our own. But the only way you can support us now is to share our video, like it, comment, and remember to click the subscription button and the notification uh, for the subscription so that whenever we post any video, we will use notified. Until then, until we see you again, take care and have a blessed time ahead. Thank you. Bye-bye.